Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmed Al Yasin, and I'm going to be your math teacher for this year. In this video, we are going to cover the whole units that we will take in this year in course Algebra 2. At the end of this video, you are going to have a main idea about the general important ideas that you have to know at the end of this course. So let's start this video by viewing all the units that we are going to take this year. So these are the six units that we are going to cover in this year. We will start with unit one, which is linear functions and systems. In this unit, we are going to focus on special type of functions that are called linear functions. Linear functions have the form of y equals mx plus p, where m is the slope and p is the y-intercept. So we'll start this unit by knowing the method that we are going to use in order to find the value of m, the y-intercept, and the x-intercept. We will use this information to graph the function, the linear function that we have. Then we are going to know what are the types of linear functions and how to solve linear functions using graphing method or mathematical method. Then we will move to these systems, which is a question that has two different linear equ equations. We will then do three different methods in order to find the solution for these systems. These methods are called substitution, elimination, and the graphing method. In unit two, which is titled with quadratic functions and equations, we will start by defining the quadratic function. The quadratic function has the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we will learn how to graph the quadratic function on the xy plane, how to solve the quadratic equations using different methods, such as factorizing, square root method, or the general rule that depends on the discriminant. After that, we are going to move to the polynomial functions. Polynomial functions are the functions that have the form of bx equal a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power of n minus 2 plus 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 a 1 x to the power of 1 plus a naught or a 0. n is the degree of the polynomial function. For example, if n is equal to 2, then the polynomial function is called the quadratic function. If n is equal to 1, the polynomial function is called the linear function. a n, a n minus 1 up to a naught are called the coefficients of the term. And the x is the variable that the function has. The value of x can be substituted by a given value if the question is needed. In unit 4, we are going to talk about rational functions. Rational functions are special functions that has the form of f of x equal p of x over q of x. In other words, rational functions are the ratio of two polynomials. So in this unit, we are going to know how to find the domain of rational functions, how to graph the rational functions, how to find the different asymptotes for the rational functions, and how to solve a rational equation. In chapter 5, we are going to talk about rational exponents and radical function. Rational exponents, it means that we have a term that's raised to a number. This number can be a fraction. And we are going to connect the rational exponent with the radical functions. Also, we are going to know the properties of the exponents, how to add them, how to subtract them, how to multiply them, and how to simplify an algebraic expression that has rational expression, ex exponents. As for a radical function, we are going to know how to grab them, what are the main types of the radical functions, what is the domain, what is the range of each type of radical functions. Then we will end our units by unit 6, which is exponential and logarithmic functions. 
these two types of functions are connected to each other, we are going to know what's the difference between the exponential and the logarithmic function. The exponential function has the form of f of x equal a to the power of x, where a is called the base and the x is the exponent. These functions model growth or decay processes. They have an inverse relationship with the logarithmic function. We are going to know what do we mean by the inverse relationship during the class. Also, we are going to know how to graph them, how to solve an equation that has an exponential or logarithmic function in it. At the end, I want to thank you all for listening. These are the main six units that we are going to cover during this year, and I can't wait to see you in the class. Thank you.